All right, so we're gonna work on spinal mobilization with leg movement. And the premise behind this process is that we're going to actually put pressure down on the spinous process of levels having joint restrictions. If we can do that and have improvement in leg mobility without having sciatica, we can find the levels of disruption and the levels of joint uh, that need joint mobilization. So what you can do to start off with is just provide a uh, sideline straight leg raise. So in this case, if you brought the patient up and at 45 degrees it reproduced pain in their back going down in the leg, that'd be your starting point. And then from there, you can go along the lumbar spine, in this case a sciatic, you're gonna look at L5, then probably L4, and possibly even L3, but most commonly it'd be L5. So I'm gonna do the same process. However, now I'm going to find L5 uh, from the PSIS. I'm gonna provide medial pressure down on L5, and I'm gonna provide the same straight leg raise. And to see if she can go further without having reproduction of symptoms. If she can go further without having reproduction of symptoms, that'd be a good place to start. I'm gonna do about three or four sets of seven repetitions uh, that day and then send her home with some, uh, some uh, sciatic nerve floss from the sideline position uh, to be done home. Now, in the case that I provide medial pressure and I go through, and let's say she only still goes to 45 degrees and pain is still present, then I'm gonna back off the straight leg raise drop off to L4, provide medial pressure, and then provide the same uh, straight leg raise, and now she can actually go a little bit higher. So now I would stick with L4 um, as a joint mobilization and take her through the same uh, sciatic nerve floss. Um, you really wanna take it easy on the first visit. They're gonna be able to bring the leg up further, but don't get carried away. They could have a latent response and uh, you know could have more radiculopathy as the night goes on. Uh, so keep it simple the first visit and then progress them at home and progress them in future visits.